Welcome to the latest on Aptura's solar electric vehicle development for this year. Here you can learn about the ongoing efforts to enhance the solar performance and extend the solar EV's range to at least 10 years, as well as the advancements made from beta to alpha models and the improvement of aerodynamics to maximize efficiency on the company's first ever solar electric vehicle. Together, let's investigate this. Regarding the development of Aptura's three-wheeled solar electric car, the company claims to have made some incredible strides within the past month. You may see our CEO, Chris Anthony, provide an overview of the key developments in the video update that was recently released. As previously mentioned, Aptera has advanced our alpha development, and as evidence, we now have three stunning solar electric vehicles. The company's alpha development program helped our clients get a better concept of what our final production vehicles will look like while also validating our design and engineering. Vita, Coast, and Codex are the three basic interior options offered by Aptera, while Black, White, and Silver are the three typical exterior options. However, before we go any further, if you're enjoying this briefing, do consider supporting this channel by giving it a like and clicking the like and subscribe button below. This will help YouTube understand your preferences and allow you to receive new video updates as soon as they are posted. Regards! Now let's move forward. After analyzing all of the data from our alpha testing, Aptura is now constructing its beta vehicles, which will number 6 to 12. In addition to integrating production components into their initial production cars, their beta vehicles are essential to quickening their ramp to production. Although their beta cars will resemble their alpha cars in many ways, one of the most notable differences is the larger size. In order to improve driving comfort, the manufacturer enlarged the vehicle's frontal size by roughly 1%, adding greater headroom and side space close to the hips. Aptera discovered a method to increase efficiency from the alpha vehicles by lowering drag through aerodynamic optimization. Even though the beta series vehicles are larger, Aptera discovered ways to improve their stability turning radius, mobility, and much more throughout their track alpha testing. Aptera resorted to the Roush engineering team for assistance in developing automotive quality parts for its suspension, door system, and window mechanisms in order to expedite their entry into production. The suspension team at Aptera has produced some very outstanding beta vehicles. Aptera's front suspension's thinner upper and lower control arms have significantly increased aerodynamic efficiency. The wire routing of our in-wheel motors is one of the primary upgrades. The manufacturer of solar EVs discovered a way to employ smaller cables, which they bundled beneath the aero covers in their prototype model. In order to reduce vibration during travel, their Bettis wheel covers will also feature an inner liner that braces the entire assembly to the motor. Aptera's performance has also been significantly enhanced with the addition of a twin-link suspension system in place of the previous single-sided swing arm suspension. Additionally, Aptera finished white tooling its body for the Betas, and pieces are already being constructed. Finally, the Aptera team has achieved amazing strides in the production of solar composites. The manufacturer of solar electric vehicles is striving to create extremely efficient solar panels that can withstand the harsh environmental elements encountered on a solar electric car, all the while minimizing power losses during the conversion process. Aptera has designed its solar panels to be at least 10 years long and upgradable. In order to give the greatest solar electric vehicle possible, Aptera solar panels have previously undertaken durability testing, electroluminescence testing, and testing against hail. Owners of Aptera devices will have the opportunity to enhance their solar modules in order to obtain a longer solar range as solar technology advances. And Aptera is eager to move its beta development operations into its stunning new Carlsbad, California facility. Many things will happen. And we'll keep you informed as we go. Remember that Aptera's development vehicles for beta testing won't look exactly like our alpha models. This is so that they may be used for safety and functional testing. In the upcoming months, Aptera will be doing various testing and certification with vendors worldwide. Keep tuned for more information. 50 Co will be the charging speed for Aptera. Although I'm not sure how long it can continue at that rate, it appears that the efficiency benefit would be much offset by this modest speed. The Tesla Model 3 can travel approximately 100 miles in the first 10 minutes and 200 miles in the first 23 minutes. It would be 100 miles in the first 12 minutes and 200 miles in the first 24 minutes, even if we assume Aptera maintains the maximum charge pace for the first bit. 
If this figure is correct, it seems that all the sacrifices made to achieve efficiency are far less beneficial. Does anyone have additional information about the Aptera charging speed? Furthermore, it has been a little more than a year since the solar EV startup Aptera launched its accelerator program, which was designed to help the business obtain some financial runway as it moves closer to scaling up production and to encourage customers to completely commit to their SEV purchase. Though it took longer than expected, the program was successful in raising around $34 million. This achievement is just one more feather in the cap of solar electric vehicle, EV, manufacturer Aptera, which is the last well-known startup left in the race to reach mass production and provide its incredibly sustainable mobility options. It would be an understatement to say that the voyage has been long, and Aptera has a fascinating past that you may review thanks to our years of reliable coverage. We're only going to go back to January 2023 for the sake of time. It's Friday after all, when Aptera revealed a launch edition of its much-anticipated SEV of the same name. Launch edition is a preset design that is intended to serve as the first vehicle of its sort to hit the road and possibly launch Aptera's SEV production. Applauded for its frequent updates on development and open communication with its fans, Aptera freely acknowledged that manufacture of the launch edition vehicles will require a substantial increase in funds. A few days later, co-founders of Aptera Steve Fambro and Chris Anthony announced the launch of an accelerator program, asking reservation holders to contribute community financing starting at $10,000. The program prioritizes who receives the first commemorative launch edition, builds based on the amount of money donated. As a result, there was a leaderboard battle for the 2,000 seats that were open which resulted in a launch edition commemorative build that was numbered. Because of the first poor uptake, Aptera decided to keep the crowdfunding program open indefinitely until all of the available spaces were filled. That day has arrived just over a year later, with over 2,000 investors bringing Aptera $34 million closer to scaled solar EV production. Since the launch edition SEV's 2,000 production slots have all been taken, Aptera has formally closed the accelerator program to future applicants. Having said that, individuals who are now atop the scoreboard are more than welcome to pledge additional funding to the business in order to move up the ranks and receive an earlier delivery. With 2,040 bookings, Aptera successfully finished their customer investor procedure. As you can see from the current ranking, we've questioned Aptera about its commitment to honor the additional 40 customers and the 2,000 initial builds of the launch edition SEVs that it first promised. According to an Aptera representative who spoke with Electric, some of those pending investments are expected to be removed from the leaderboard in the upcoming weeks. However, any customer who made an accelerator investment by January 31st at 8.20 a.m. PT guaranteed a spot in the program and will be eligible for one of the first SEV reservation slots. I adore Aptera's focus on easy maintenance, repair, and upgradability, along with its energy-efficient design. I would support it more than I have if I were a billionaire or even a millionaire. The crowdfunding campaign was originally intended to provide Aptera with some initial cash flow so that company could buy the production equipment needed to construct its solar EVs. This money would eventually be repaid by a $21.9 million grant that was granted earlier this year. By October 2023, Aptera already possessed more than 60% of the necessary tools and equipment needed to produce its body in carbon, Bincy. Among the most costly and time-consuming parts of the production process that need the longest lead periods to commission and deliver were stamping dies and post-processing tools. In December, Aptera, a Tier 1 supplier of battery packs for its solar electric vehicles, signed a multi-million dollar agreement with CTNS, a Korean manufacturer. With its crowdfunding campaigns, Aptera has raised more than $100 million to date. The company plans to start building products in late 2024 and increase output in 2025. However, a firm spokeswoman notes that there is still a financial caveat. The precise timetable depends on funding. Aptera has raised $33 million through the Accelerator program, which will be used to finance the company's first production intent vehicles, which will be used for testing and validation as well as the purchase of low-volume tooling. The final stage, after Aptera's production intent vehicles have been verified, is to generate money to buy high-volume production tooling and equipment. Even if the limited edition, launch edition solar EVs are all sold out, you can still reserve an unnumbered model or a fully customized Aptera for $100 down payment or $70. 
For the time being, we will end this briefing there. In order to encourage the upload of additional videos similar to this one, do remember to like and subscribe to this channel. I appreciate you taking the time to watch when the next video is posted on this channel. We really hope you will come along.